How's everyone doing today? Well, we got another cooking video for you guys. I just defrosted uh, one of the wild turkey, half of the wild turkey breasts that I got, one of them that I got this year in here in Cali, and then uh, that last pig that I just got um, with the Fergozo Foundation. I got the pork butt, one of the pork butt roasts right here. I am going to season these things, put them right here in the pans, and then I'm gonna smoke both of them. The, the turkey breast, I'm probably just gonna smoke till completely cooked. Pork butt, I'll probably only smoke for about an hour just to give some of the smoke flavor, and then that sucker's going in the pressure cooker. Um, and then I'm gonna do like shredded pork tacos and stuff like that with this. I'm gonna slice up and use for lunch meat for the week. Put it in wraps, obviously make sandwiches out of it, uh, and just have some lunch stuff. So this is one of my favorite ways to do the turkey breast and then obviously wild pork roast. Um, turns out amazing, but let's get started. First off, especially on wild game, some people probably don't like doing this, but I like coating them with some olive oil, some type of oil first. A, wild game super lean, and then B, it just, helps all this uh, flavor, the seasoning stick to it. So it's it, it's something I do, you don't have to do it though. But um, I'm gonna do the honey hog barbecue. My buddy owns Meat Church, This uh, he just sent me some of this. I'm super excited to try it. Uh, this will be my first time trying this. But I'm gonna put that on the wild boar. And then the um, wild turkey, I'm gonna do the Traeger summer shandy. This stuff is really good, it's like a lemon pepper type Seasoning, this stuff's really, really good. So that'll go on there. Like I said, I'm gonna smoke both, and then that sucker's going in the pressure cooker. Alright guys, so we got the stuff outside. I'm about to start the Traeger. And then we're also going to do something else. So, I have some honey here and I just basically heated this up. This honey actually came from uh, the ranch that we guide on up in um, near Redding. Right out of Redding. Um, they have a bunch of bee boxes. They always hook us up with like tubs of honey. So it's amazing. We have a ton of it. But I'm going to, I just heated that up a little bit because it was kind of crystallized. So I'm gonna basically brush that. I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke this turkey breast for the first I don't know 45 minutes to an hour. Then every like 30 minutes after that, I'm gonna just brush it with some honey um, as it smokes. So it'll be like a honey smoked turkey, one of my favorites. So we're gonna start this Traeger up. Um, we're just gonna do it on let's say around 185. Oops. We'll get that sucker started. Let that heat up a sec. I'm gonna throw these bad boys on. All right, let's put this turkey breast on first. Put that baby right there, spread it out. This wild boar roast, right there. All right, so we'll do, this one's probably gonna take about four hours, and like I said, I'm only gonna do about an hour on this one, and then just for the flavor, and then I'm uh, throwing that puppy in. The reason why I'm not doing the honey on this guy too is, that seasoning actually has honey powder in it, so you're gonna get a lot of the same flavor just off that seasoning um, where the summer shandy doesn't. So this is gonna be kind of like a, a savory, sweet type of uh, smoked turkey. Can't wait to get these things done. All right guys, got that stuff on. Gotta keep it down, baby sleeping, but uh, FedEx just dropped off a package. It's one of my favorite packages. Don't look at that. <laughs> Open this baby up. Got. got some strawberries and cream ammo, nice. BCAAs, trail packs. Got some chocolate ammo, cookies and cream ammo, whoo -wee. Couple more trail packs, BCAAs. All right, these things have been on for about an hour. Let's get some honey on that turkey breast. Looking good so far. Brush it. Mm. All right. Round one. 
All right, so like I said, it's been about an hour. I'm gonna go get the um, pressure cooker all prepped. I'm gonna take that roast, the wild pork roast off here in a second. I'll just let it go while I'm prepping, but I'm gonna go get that all set up. Probably gonna throw in a little bit of vegetables with it, a little bit of liquid, probably you know, about a cup, maybe half a cup of either beef, vegetable, or chicken broth, whatever I have in the fridge. <laughs> Let's go see. All right, we got it all set up. I'm going to cut white onion, throw that in there. I'm gonna do some fresh garlic. We got some beef broth, and then I will add just a bit of apple cider vinegar as well. All right, we got the onion in there. I'm about to tear this garlic up, get that in there. Show you guys one of my favorite way to chop these things. Just smash that baby. Pop it out. That's pretty good. Because I take the back of the knife, just to kind of blunt smash it. You just slice it like that. And what that's doing is like crushing the garlic, so you're releasing all the oils in it. You guys see it's just kind of like smushed. You could even kind of like rub it a little bit, smash it a little bit more. You just finally chop that. And just throw that in. All right, got the garlic, the onion in there. Um, now we're gonna do some apple cider vinegar. Shake it. I like the kind with the mother. I'll just put this, uh, I usually do about, and then beef broth. Basically just enough so it doesn't stick to the bottom, but it's probably about half a cup. Just fill that up and coat the bottom. These things get pretty hot. You can also do this on a slow cooker. Instead of the, the Instant Pot, the only reason why I'm doing it on this is because it's already almost 5.30 and I want to eat this for dinner tonight, so that would have been, I, I was a little late going this morning, so by the time I got that meat all defrosted, it was already midday. But this is, this is fine because this, I mean, it's going to taste the same and it's going to be about an hour in this thing, maybe like an hour and a half after it heats up, but all right, so this is all ready to go. Let's go get that wild boar uh, roast and we'll throw it in there. Ooh, smelling good out here. All right, I'm gonna take this wild pig roast off. Should have a nice glaze on it now with that smoke. Oh yeah, and that seasoning. So we got a little, we'll probably have a little smoke ring if I were to cut that open. Um, but we're basically just giving it that little outer smoke just to add a little bit of extra flavor to it. I'm gonna take that inside and throw her in the pressure cooker. That thing's looking good. Boom. All right. So let's go meat. Um, let's go 50 minutes. It's ready to go. I think that's it. It'll kick on here in a sec. Make sure the vent is closed. Boom. There it is. All right. So now it'll heat up. Um, it'll be 50 minutes of pressure cooking. And then when we take this puppy off, it should just shred apart. And we'll shred it all apart, mix it in with the juice. And, um, should be pretty damn tasty, ready for some tacos. Super cool. Grilling outside, came inside, I got a turkey. Oh, she just took off. I got a doe up there, eating in some grass. I don't know what just spooked her, but, oh, she's right there. I think she was chasing something. I love living out in the country. All right, so the pork roast uh, only has eight minutes left. Just about done, so I'm gonna start making, I like to do like a little pico de gallo type thing that I put on there. Some tomatoes, a little bit of onion, and then I'm gonna make like a little bit of um, guacamole. Sometimes I even just do sliced avocados on them, but we'll mix that in. Uh, we're gonna go outside to the garden and get some of our fresh cilantro. Our tomato plants are not quite producing yet, so these are store-bought unfortunately, but um, soon we'll have onions and tomatoes of our own. And I'm super pumped about that, but let's go out there and uh, at least get some of the cilantro, and we'll put that in the salsa. Here is the greenhouse. We got this all set up, me and uh, Ben, my brother-in-law. Um, and then Abby's mom, Big Booty Judy, came and visited with us for a couple weeks and she helped me and Abby plant all this stuff. So everything is coming together great. We have some strawberries, banana sweet peppers, three different types of tomatoes. We have beets, carrots, green onions, some herbs. 
onions here, onions here. I think these are yellow onions. These are white onions. And then four different types of bell peppers. And then here's a bunch of our herbs, lettuce and kale. Um, everything's looking good. So we got some Italian parsley, chives, spearmint. But I'm going to steal some of this cilantro. Get a little bit of it. That's pretty good. Mmm, smells so good. All right. We got to keep this thing closed at night because we got tons of deer and turkey that come in here and would destroy this. So everything is locked up at night, but let's go finish this stuff. And we got our first strawberries. I didn't realize they were red. We just looked right now and they're ready to go. We're going to go wash these off and I'm going to eat them. up, put them in the bowl, and I'll be ready to go. Mix it all up, and the meat's done. Rice wine vinegar, um, a little salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and uh, mix that baby all up. All right guys, so this is really tough to self film. Sorry, bear with me here, but um, I forgot the olive oil. I do a little bit of olive oil, maybe about a tablespoon of that. Um, and then I usually do about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of the, or the uh, rice wine vinegar. Um, a little salt, pepper. It's really just salt to taste. Like some people like it super salty. Um, I do about two pinches. Some pepper. Otherwise, together. Uh, dinner ideas. You guys can do this meat. Let me turn this up. You guys can do this meat in, like I said, the pressure cooker. It, it was an hour on the grill to smoke, and then an hour in this. So. I mean, this is, and it's not something you have to sit there and deal with the whole time. You can put it on the smoker and go get stuff done. Throw it in the pressure cooker, get stuff done. Or, I mean, really, you don't even have to smoke it. You could, if you just have a crock pot or something, season that sucker up, throw it in the crock pot with uh, some veggies, whatever you want, and let it sit in there for about, I don't know, six to eight hours, depending on the size of it. You know, throw it in the morning and come back in the evening. It should just shred right apart. And then uh, you could do all the same stuff with it. So, all right, this is done. Let me show you guys. Okay, so there it is, super delicious. We're gonna put that on the tacos. Now, this just finished, so let's take the lid off that and I'm gonna shred that pork. Ooh. There she is, let's shred this thing. Action. All right, so I just take two forks and just shred this stuff. It should come right apart. Sorry, I'm splashing you. And I'll shred all this. Just mix in with this juice a little bit, let it sit. Um, if you guys need to add any other seasonings, you can at this point. Um, sometimes I like to do that if I feel like it wasn't salty enough or um, just need something. Just basically sprinkle it in there, mix it in with the juice and let it sit. This stuff will be good for the, the rest of the week, making tacos if you wanna make them for lunch or um, you can make wraps out of them too. Lots of stuff you can do with this. And you don't, it doesn't have to be wild. You can do this with any um, domestic pig too. So it's a good stuff. All right, I need to pull this out so I can shred it better. I just want to show you guys the smoke ring. Look at that. Trader killed it. It was only an hour on there. All right, so I'm in the middle of shredding this. I completely forgot I need to go uh, put some more honey on that turkey breast. All right, let's see how she's looking. Ooh, smelling good. Let's get some more honey on her. All right, put a good layer on. Let her go. Got about an hour and a half left. Get this stuff back in the juice. Shoot, almost forgot some of the best stuff here. We gotta make the guac real quick. So I'm gonna slice this up. I just slice it up, put it in a bowl. Uh, garlic, salt, maybe a little bit of onion powder and lime or lemon. I've even put a little tiny bit of orange juice, which is really good if you guys haven't tried that. But um, let me cut this up and make that real quick and then we're gonna put together the tacos.
All right, I'm gonna do just a touch of orange juice. I like this one. I've even seen people put a little feta cheese in there. Just a touch. We're ready to go. All right, easy peasy. Let's get these tacos made. This stuff's all prepped. Let's get these tortillas heated up. So I like, we got some, wish I was uh, good enough of a cook to make my own tortillas, but I haven't mastered that yet. So right now, this is just quicker and easier. Got some whole wheat tortillas. That's all I do here. Learned this from my grandma. Turn this down. She used to make homemade tortillas. We'd go over, roll them out, and then uh, just heat them up on the stove like this. Gas stove. Just flip them a few times. Once they start bubbling, then they're done. I usually flip them maybe four times or so, four or five times. But you guys can see them starting to see that bubbling. And that's perfect right there. Nice and hot. We'll throw this guy on there. Load her up. Super simple. This is just something that, you know, feeds a lot of people. You guys have a big family, a bunch of people coming over. It's super simple. Throw some of the pico de gallo on there. little guac and bam there it is a little street taco wild boar can be you know store-bought pig too super simple and it's always delicious so there you go guys easy peasy thank you guys for tuning in on this one I'll try to come up with some more cool recipes don't forget we still have that turkey breast out there um, it's probably got another hour or so to smoke all I'm gonna do is I'll probably baste it one more time with the honey and that's it from now till the time it comes off and then let it cool for a bit and I'm gonna just slice it real thin and have that in a Ziploc in my fridge to make sandwiches. Um, I'll have this pulled pork. This stuff will probably last for about a week, a week and a half in the fridge but I don't think it's gonna last that long because I'm gonna eat it all. That's it. Thank you guys. I will see you on the next one.